Welcome to Brawlhalla. I'll tell you one thing, we like a lot more. Some action packed Brawlhalla here at Moose Wars. Let's go ahead and get this action right now. Yeah, now, one thing I instantly noticed, right? Louis and Snowy, very much top tier team, right? But the one concern I already have that I'm seeing is like, you know, you have that Lance, you know, you have the Great Sword. There's a lot of low range right now on the side of Boomy and Snowy, so they're gonna have to make every movement count. And these are the players to kind of do that. They are good enough to pull off something like that. But Stingray, you see him now on his signature Orion. Things are pretty even right now. Oh, look at Hardy going crazy right now. That's not just not me being biased. Look at the amount of damage he's doing. But as I'm saying that, yo, Rumi, or I'm sorry, is it, uh, yeah, Boomy, I'm sorry. Boomy trying to end that stock as fast as possible coming off from a Hardy. Snowy right now. Snowy, oh, oh. going to get a trade with his teammate. That's not good, but luckily not going to be anything too crazy. Going to go off stage to go for the edge guard. Not quite yet. Oh. Stay still on center stage. And that is going to be the stock coming off from Boomy, coming off from Hardy with the great sword. Yeah, and again, Gracer is also one of the weapons that got a substantial change, and you know, it's been very, very debated. I've, I've been talking with some of my, the people in the community, they think that Gracer is really, really good, you know, it really depends on who you talk to. That's going to be a KO or Boomy, but Stingray on the other side going to take care of Snowy, but Stingray oh, going to take matters into his own bottom, hands! The bottom, and the that bottom. is what you want to see, Stingray! <laughs> Finds the KO and takes an insurmountable lead right now. That is what you want to see. The Optimus and the But that doesn't change the hype of the play that just happened. No, well played no, singer. no. Like, a, like, like, like I said before, bro. You get off stage, you might as well SD. You ain't looking at that ground ever again. And Steamer making a statement of that. Oh, gets the, the Rocket Lance. On off stage so far. Red team looking kind of clean right now. Oh, going for the air, Sayer. Oh, be careful. Up air. Oh my god, Hardy is living off a prayer right now. As the boy Snowy trying to end that suck as fast as possible. And after that, after Boomy taking that uh, really bad edge guard loss, oh. coming on from Stingray, it's not gonna go for the blue team right now. Is that gonna be death? Help his teammate out? No, he's gonna go for the uh, you know, the recovery. That's fine. But Boomy looking really bad as he's on this last stock in red health abstract. How can he make this? How can Blue make this comeback happen? I'm not gonna lie to you, it's looking really, really rough. You're gonna have to hope for a miracle almost. Boomy is taken down now, and now it is up to Snowy. He has to basically want he has basically three stock the team, and that is not gonna be possible when you have zero stocks. So that's gonna be game one, going over to Stingray and Hardy MJ. They were really putting the pressure down. I mean, look at that damage difference. 533 damage, the most in that game from Stingray, compared to 226 damage from Boomy, 375 from Snowy, even 391 his own teammate. I mean, Stingray just went off that game. And that's not to say that Hardy MJ, he also played very well too. We saw some very nice combos, very nice strings. And that's gonna give them the game one. Super, super good from them. Yeah. Yeah, if, if you can just capitalize on not being able to recover, I think you're in a really good spot right now. Um, and Brawlhalla, where recovering is... Look, I, I, I love this game, because recovering has like a lot of roots to it, but so does edge guarding and Stingray, making sure... And that was deep. I don't think Brother had a weapon either. Brother was just stomping on him. He was, you know, he was, he had the Tims on him, stomp on him and make sure they could not make it back. So let's see if Boomy and Snowy can make this comeback happen. That game wasn't too bad. Right, I've, I've definitely, after the games we have seen, we've seen some bad games. That wasn't too bad. So, if Boomy can just hang on to their stock a little bit more, Snowy and Boomy can play a little bit more uh, of a team game, we might see them potentially take a game or two, hell, or three off of the red team. But, let's go on to this next stage. Abstract, what can we start to see on this game too? What adjustments need to be made? Uh, well, for one, I think that we're not going to see people using recovery when they're off stage as their first option, because you can very clearly see that is that could be a very dangerous option. But at the same time, you know, I think they're just getting kind of used to everything. And you know, Hardy playing that great sword. Not a lot of people play great sword in really across the world, and he's really the only one that plays it internationally. And at the same time, right, you have this uh this tiger spin, you have this Koji pick. A lot of dependence on that spacing, making sure you get those combinations going. And meanwhile, you have Stingray on this lance and stuff like that. That's very good for punishing. And we're already kind of seeing now where the damage is being allocated. That's going to be first strike going over to Hardy MJ. It seems like they're just rocking and rolling from last game. Yeah, and Hardy kind of getting his ass beat a little bit. But when you have that great sword, you know, the power is in your favor. Boomy going to lose that uh, stock, unfortunately. Oh, oh, Snowy almost having Hardy on the ropes. Uh-oh. Yo, Stingray. Stingray kind of in trouble. Going to make it back. No, he is not. Boomy going to make sure he is not back in the two for two special right now. 
and blue team actually has the lead here as snowy hanging on to their third stock they do have orange health but it's not bad whatsoever gonna go for the bow Ooh. Yeah. Kind of sick there, not gonna get it. Oh, a little bit of offstage, but on the left side of the screen between both Boomy and Hardy right now. And that's gonna be the stock off of, uh, off of Snowy. So kind of even game, unless he uh -oh. can make it back on. Okay, we're, we're good, we're good. So I wanna, oh, well, hold on. There's a lot of action going on. They're just going off stage. They do not care. Help. They're going someone all help. in. Yes, yeah, someone needs to help this man. Oh. <laughs> There's a lot of action going on here. I mean, this is, this is pretty wild. This is pretty wild compared to what I think what we've seen so far. Oh, nah, blue, ooh, ooh, blue team, they can make this work, but they need to play more as a team. Gonna get the SIG, not gonna get the kill they're looking for. Is that oh, it? the read! Blue's not gonna read the air dodge! Hardy going insane right now! That was super huge, very, very good from him. And now it's actually gonna be a slight lead for the red oh team. Oh my god. They gotta be able to capitalize. Another great read, this kill, time coming out of Boomy. Kill Hardy, kill Hardy, kill Hardy, kill Hardy, kill Hardy! There we go, nice! All right, blue team, this is good. It, it, like they can make this comeback easy for the red team. Like look at bro, boy is on red health. Like that is, boy is bleeding. My brother is dark red right now. He is a blood. Oh, the tar combos though. Oh, Ooh, reverse edge guard. That's gonna be very nice. So that was gonna be one stock all. It's a bit weird now because Snowy has all the damage on the uh, the blue team. It's kind of more evenly distributed with the red team as well. So I think they need to kind of concentrate their efforts onto Snowy, but. It's kind of a decent segue into what I wanted to talk about a little bit earlier, but, you know, a lot of people have been talking about this weapon. Some may say that it's the best weapon in Brawlhalla right now. I mean, it's super safe. It covers so much ground, and, you know, its KO options are honestly really good, and Koji is one of the best users of that bow. That's going to be one thing, and now Snowy getting taken, and now, yeah, is, now this is Boomy. This is Boomy. You have to be careful, because oh. he can very much 2-1v2 this if you're not careful. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, <laughs> well. He can. He can do it. He can. Just not, not gonna do it today. But that game was a lot closer. Game was definitely a lot closer. I kind of, I love the synergy between both him and Snowy. All so Boomy and Snowy, what they were doing was right. They were actually doing a really good job of coordinating. Okay, if they're above us, right, we're gonna actually try to team up and two v one them as fast as possible. But unfortunately, you know, when you have uh, the kill power of Hardy with the great sword and stingray's awareness which the the oh whoa 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 the rocket lances just cover so much ground so not only are you not safe from anywhere you're also dying from a good hit coming off from hardy it makes it really hard to gain into the stage control so let's see the blue team can make this comeback happen yeah i mean stingray one of the best orions in the world definitely i would say the best in north america right now unless there's one that just completely For sure misses yep. my mind but you can see the power that lance has i mean it's very good on the ground very solid options we see that we saw even you know we saw wesley playing it uh and msi as well as we saw house was playing it. so it's like this is a strong weapon. Siri actually was not at MSI, so this is his first tournament that he's going to be in since then. And he is making a statement Ooh. right now, going to take down Boomy, taking down a one or two stocks. And now we're going to see them. Can Party get the finisher? No, he can't quite get it, but still, a lead is a lead. Oh, wow, and Boomy's going to take him off okay. the top. So we trying to go for the team combo, but it's not going to quite work out there. Yeah, the coordination was definitely there coming off from Snowy, just barely appearing behind him, not Ooh, in front of him. Wow. Speaking of Snowy, is gonna lose that stock, unfortunate. Hardy holding on to all three of his stocks, so he's trying to keep it chill. Here comes the Rocket Lance, though. Seems like Snowy wants some, too. Looking good so far. Going for the up air abstract. So far, Hardy has not lost his stock just quite yet. Stingray kind of in trouble right now. Hardy has to help his teammate, but he has no weapon. As I said, that he does get the sword, but gonna go off stage. Can Snowy capitalize? Good reverse edge guard. Gonna set up. Hardy playing really smart. Boomy, unfortunately, not gonna be ready for the scenario. He's gonna be put himself in. Yeah, I mean, Stingray and Hardy are just kind of going off there right now. Go. I mean, now I will say that the stock situation is a bit weird. Okay, now it's a bit more even. Stingray down to one stock, but so is Boomy. And I think if they're able to kind of get that ground control back, I gotta isolate them because they've been doing a very, very good job of just not just hanging their shots, but they're playing with pressure. And that's not something you see very, very often, you know, with twos. And, and at least until there's only one person left, but they don't care. They're going in. They trust in each other. You know, and sometimes they may hit each other. That's going to happen. But overall, you're seeing the confidence, the pressure, the aggression. You know, kind of reminds me a little bit of Luna and uh, uh, Godly at the very beginning of the stream, how they were playing. 
Yeah, this I'm, I'm trying to I'm listening to what you're saying. I really am, but I'm just worrying for the blue team. Okay, they killed Snowy. That's fine. Okay, this is good. This is good. Take out Hardy. Two v one scenario. He still has that great sword. I would high key have Snowy go in. Right, set him up. Good stuff with the sig and gonna get this game. Okay. Wait, no, that's he still had yeah, two. Yeah, he has two stocks. What? He still had two. Okay, he's on his last oh. one. Oh. Yeah, just, just let Snowy take care of business. Just. He cooks it and you eat it. You eat it, Boomy. Yeah, he's trying not to get team calm, but he is gonna get that weapon now. He's gotta try and find a way to take out Boomy, make this a two for one. He's getting a little too greedy with the six. I mean, you saw with the, the unarmed side stick as well as the neutral stick. That might be his undoing. Snowy not gonna go off stage with Hardy. Can they get it? Not quite. He's gonna go for Boomy, but he doesn't quite have the spacing. He doesn't have it just yet. So we're gonna try and get the ground pound. The dance oh, gonna follow with the weapon throw. Yeah! And Boomy and Snowy. We'll pull back. They're going to trail this series 1-2. Yeah, nice. That was a really good weapon. We're going to aim it downwards. Bonk, run on the head. Uh, X marks the spot. And good plays. They're not going to go out, you know, 3-0. That's mighty important. And looking at this clip right now, you can see that they definitely wanted to make sure that um, he could not get a... If he got a great sword, that would have been awful. Yeah. That would have been absolutely awful. If he got that great sword... Because it's the kill power, right? That's the scary thing, right? When you have that great sword, the kill power just, you know, it raises, like, tremendously. But he ended up getting the sword, which is actually really good. They both had, like, really fast weapons, so they're covering a lot of ground. The weapon throw and Snowy and Boomy going to take game number three right now, not go into the light just quite yet. Yeah, you're kind of seeing like on screen right now, kind of the replay of that. And, you know, Hardy, I mean, it definitely was possible. I think there are times where he might have gotten a little bit too greedy, but at the same time, you're really trying to do what you can to survive. You're doing what you can to stay in the game. And I can't really fault him for that. And again, they're also up 2-1. So you do kind of have that, a little bit of that wiggle room saying, okay, you know, maybe we went a little too aggressive. But the other side of that is Boomy and Snowy. Again, like I said, these are top tier players for a reason. And these guys are finally getting it back together. They might be, they might know what's working for them. So we're gonna have to see if Boomy and Snowy how what it takes to kind of come back into the series because they may be down, but they're certainly not. Oh. Out. Uh uh, we have character switches, I believe. Oh if I'm not oh wait, no, no, no. Those are previous matches. Okay, no, I'm I'm <laughs> I thought we're gonna I thought we might have saw a cross, but no. Seems are gonna stick to their guns, you know, everything's gonna stay the same. I got really excited because <laughs> I love cross. Some people some people hate cross, dude. Cross is so dope. Dude just kills you and you're and you're done. But um Hardy and Boomy, I kind of like the little like dance. So sort because they're, they're always scrapping each other, right? They're always like fighting each other. Um, and then I'm trying to think, what stage do you think would benefit the blue team the most at track? Because we've seen a couple stages so far. What do you think might be the move? Because the thing is, Stingray and Hardy just cover so much ground. So what I'm thinking is if you have a bigger stage which allows you to, you know, just kind of like weave around uh, Stingray's, you know, uh, Rocket Lance and the, the staff and really dodge that uh, that uh, great sword coming on from Hardy. I think that could help Blue Team as well, especially Snowy, because he does like to use the bow. So what do you think Sage could benefit them in the, in the end? Uh, I think maybe having a, a, you know, a kind of a smaller stage, I, in my, at least in my opinion, because a lot of people do say, you know, when they're playing uh, Lance in twos, it is kind of unwieldy. It is one of the weapons that are a bit hard to use in twos just because of how much distance is covered with your attacks how kind of weird it is to kind of get those combos and so snowy and boomy are a lot more they have a lot more control of the movement when they are attacking you know and so i think with that if you can kind of get stingray and hardy to overcommit sometimes they kind of push them off don't allow them to have that stage control because they're also going to have less stage to work with that might be your ticket back in you can see boomy barely missing oh, out oh my on god taking oh my god down. oh my god can yeah. we get the second one? No, Stingray just gonna go to the other side, but you can already see kind of like a power of, of Tigress. Right? Blue, 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 bro. I don't know what blue team was doing on that little break we just had, but they woke up. Okay, team come. That's right. Get that down here. Sub bottom. Nope. Seeing hard to get back on stage for free, but good up here coming on from Snowy. Everyone's on red health. Everyone's bleeding right now, but will it be the red team? Ooh. Moving up first. Oh, oh no. Green arrow. X marks the spot. What a snap coming off from Snowy as Blue Team makes a really good statement, taking the first blood in this game. It's all about finesse for these two guys, some of the best in the region. And they're doing it right here, right now. Stingray's gonna get a nice downstay, however, onto Boomy. 
and Hardy wants to try and finish with someone off, so they were gonna get passed off too. And that's gonna be taken down. So that's now two stocks all, but the damage is definitely in favor of the blue team. Definitely doing their best right now to kind of maintain that lead. And there again, like I said, there's less ground to work with, and there's also a lot less control from them. So we're kind of seeing Boomy and Soy slowly make their way back into this with the momentum, with the combos, the dunks. You know, that's kind of what you want to see with this kind of a team comp that they have. Yeah, and blue team, blue team is doing a really good job of just, you know, Oh my god, the, the double stage. read for oh, Hardy. Yeah, that's what I'm about to say, but I don't care how good your stage control is, if you're just dying every time you get the, you know, every time you run in with Hardy, then you're kind of going to have a really hard time. Oh. A good deep edge guard coming on from your boy, Boomy. Wow! Oh, but Snowy, he just gave up. He said, I want no smoke. I want Snowy. zero smoke. My bad. My bad, Chief. My Oh! Oh, that could have been such a good two for one. But Stingray gonna barely escape with his life right now. Both blue teams are on their red health. Gonna use this hit to get the stock. Nope, gets the four of uh, the, the Sair coming on from Hardy. It's looking good, but I don't know, man. As long as Snowy can keep his stock alive, the dream stays alive as well. But good down there. It's just the up air. Good place coming on from Hardy. But even game right now. Both on a light health, but the blue team needs this dub. The streets need this. I went for the read. Not going to get it on the right side of the stage. And now we're seeing Stingray versus Boomy. Going to use that edge guard. Ooh. So far, neutral game coming on right now, Abstract. Yeah, I mean, a lot of really good stuff going on. I mean, that nice GC side light coming in earlier from Snowy. Definitely going to gonna optimize that's what caused Hari to lose that stock and now you see the damage being built up snowy and boomy kind of building that lead back oh a nice uh oh, no. a, a nice neutral light to kind of put him in the air stingray has no way out the recovery is gonna find him that's, that's gonna huge. be one that's can huge. he make it to hardy has the great sword this time so it is possible for him to come back he doesn't have any oh, he lost it yeah he did lose oh yeah it. weapon hogger damage. you ain't getting nothing but, you ain't getting nothing from us bro yes, what control. weapon yep Okay, he does get the, he does get the sword. Triple sword. Goes off stage. Uh, okay, now he has the bow. Oh, good air dodge, but the down air. You're the, you ain't safe, homie. You ain't safe. And now we're gonna have a game five, ladies and gentlemen. An absolute another one. Abstract. This is a slobber knocker of a game, my brother. What could we? Who, okay, you know what? I'm gonna ask you. Who do y'all think in chat? Who do you think has it? Red team or blue team? Give me a one for the red team. Give me a two for the blue team. Reverse 3 0 and coming? Is that what we're seeing? Uh, is that what we're seeing, people? I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of this. Uh, this is a <coughs> much closer game, I think, to kind of see where it's going. Because I honestly thought like, we saw with the Meg D uh, Java Dog Pierre, they're like, they had the 2 0 and they just barely lost it. They, they It was out of their grasp by the end of it all. You know? I mean, it's hard to say. I mean, I don't know. I really can't make a prediction here. Wait, oh, character change? Hold on, wait a second. I wasn't even paying attention. Red team has a character switch. Yeah, so this is, uh, I mean, it's, it's kind of a crossover, but like, it's still kind of the same thing. And, you know, this is kind of more so what he's known for, I guess, more specifically. Oh, Nothing really changes yep. too much, uh, but at the same time, this might just be the little bit of comfort that he needs to kind of pull this game back together. Remember, every little bit counts. Yeah, man, maybe he was just testing out different characters um, for the Moose Wars, but here it comes Hardy on the aggressive. Gonna send him up in disguise, but not gonna get anything started just quite yet. We saw the sword throw. Ooh, and the overextension still has the rocket lance. Oh, there it is. Okay, not gonna get the kill just quite yet. That's fine. So far, blue team's looking real good, but as I say that, that it's gonna be Snowy losing his life. Wow, Boomy just refusing to die. I gotta say, I love the changes that Boomy has been making. Honestly, sometimes just living a bit further can help, really help uh, the momentum of the game. He's gonna lose that stock just now, but for the most part, Boomy has been doing a really good job just being a proper teammate oh. for his bros. Ooh, don't do that, don't do that. That, that oh, oh, oh my god. Okay, that's good. Good ledge coverage coming on from Boomy. Not the guitars, but he's kind of getting molly whopped right now by the Rocket Lance and the Great Sword. Someone help out Boomy, please, Snowy, help out your boy. I mean, number one for a reason in terms of power ranking. I mean, they're number three. The team is ranked out, or number three here in Moose Wars. But now they're separated, actually. And this might be a very good opportunity for Stingray help, 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 and Hardy help, 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 to capitalize. And they will do so. Stingray, oh, he tries to get the D-Light ground pound. Doesn't quite get the KO, but it is going to be returned back. And Boomy's going to find his way back in. Four stocks to three, and Boomy's very close to losing his. But Hardy is also very close to losing his. That's going to KO. And Stingray brings them down to their last stocks right here. This is... We're getting down to the wire, Arbiter. We're getting down to the wire. 
I am, bro, I am, I am nervous right now. I'm nervous right now for the blue team. After making this reverse happen, it seems like the red team has, whoa, whoa. Oh my God, good grabs coming on from Snowy right now. Ooh. I do know it's what the bow does, but that's gonna be a hardy Ooh. losing the stock. Stingray trying to hold down the fort right now. Holding on to both of his stocks. Ledge coverage. There goes Snowy with the Sair. Goes for the down air. Not gonna go for the spec he's looking for. If you can kill Stingray. Okay, honestly, for blue team, either focus on Stingray or make a 2v1 happen. But look at the blue team. They're both on their oh. red health right now. Abstract gets the down air. That might be the end of Snowy. And it is. Oh, no. Not the... Nah, Boomy. Boomy, it's gonna be all right, dog. Boomy, it's gonna be all right. I, I promise. It's gonna be all right, bro. He's gonna have there. to pull oh, it yes, back. Yes. We cannot do it. <laughs> This dude Graf taunted, bro. Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no... I mean, they're gonna move on, you know, and that is, you know, that is how it is. And how it be? I, I honestly, with that match, that was really, I think that was really good for for both Stingray and Hardy MJ because I feel like those weapons are not ones you see in twos very often, and the way they kind of adjusted their game plan accordingly and they practice is very much, you know. It's good. I really like it because you have to learn how to work around these kinds of um, weapons that you have. Um, and that's very good. On the side of Boomy and Snowy, however, I mean, they still have a chance, right? They're, they're going to get dropped down to elimination bracket. So, I mean, I would not be surprised yep. if we saw them yet again in top eight.